nice try, but no cigar. Article on CNN Politics written by Dan Marika and Ryan Nobles, N-O-B-L-E-S. Northam denies being in racist photo, but recalls darkening his skin in Michael Jackson dance contest in 1984. Hmm, there's an embedded video. You might want to listen to the bullshit being spewed. You know what he said, though? He said, blackface in any manner is always racist and never okay. Wouldn't be okay trying to imitate Michael Jackson either, would it? Huh? <laughs> the guy's trying, but it ain't going to be enough. Virginia Governor Ralph Northam said he does not believe he is either person in a racist photo that appeared in 1984 yearbook, but he did once darken his face to resemble Michael Jackson during a dance contest in 1984. In a remarkable hour-long news conference at the governor's mansion in Richmond, which he's soon going to be moving out of, Northam defended himself from the cafodi of calls for his resignation and knowledge that he had made mistakes on race in the past, like when he darkened his face for a dance contest. Hmm. I believe now and then that I am not either of the people in this photo. Northam said, denying that he had ever worn a KKK robe and hood or been drunk enough to forget a moment like this. This was not me in that picture. That was not Ralph Northam. The racist photograph, which was obtained by CNN, appears in a 1984 Eastern Virginia Medical School yearbook and shows one person dressed in blackface and another in the KKK signature white hood and robes. Despite numerous calls for him to resign, Northam said he would try to win over those who want him out. Good luck with that. I intend to continue doing the business of Virginia, he said, adding that resignation would be the easier way out. Quote, I could spare myself from the difficult path that lies ahead. I could avoid any honest conversation about harmful actions from my past, he said. I cannot in good conscience choose the path that would be easier for me in an effort to duck my responsibility to reconcile. Unfortunately, Northam's support continues to dwindle. His news conference did not immediately win over those who had demanded his ouster, and if the expected outcome was one that would stop the bleeding, it did not work. Both of Virginia's senators, Mark Warner and Tim Kaine, and Representative Bobby Scott, called on Northam to resign following his news conference. After we watched his press conference today, we called Governor Northam to tell him that we no longer believe he can effectively serve as Governor of Virginia and that he must resign. Governor Northam has served the people of the Commonwealth faithfully for many years, but the events of the past 24 hours have inflicted immense pain and irrevocably broken the trust Virginians must have in their leaders. He should step down and allow the Commonwealth to begin healing, the three said in a joint statement. The Virginia Legislative Black Caucus, a group of lawmakers that had met with Northam on Friday, said the governor's press conference just renewed their belief that he should go. Quote, in light of the public admission, an apology for his decision to appear in a photo, he has irrevocably lost the faith and trust of the people he was elected to serve, the caucus said. Changing his public story today now casts further doubt on his ability to regain that trust. Additionally, former Virginia governor, Douglas Wilder also called for Northam's resignation, writing in a tweet, quote, I stated earlier that Governor Northam's continuing in office was his choice to make. It is difficult for anyone who watched the press conference today to conclude that he has any other choice but to resign. Earlier in the day, Wilder, who was one of two African Americans ever elected governor in the U.S., has supported Northam's ability to decide to stay, but that changed after the news conference. On Saturday evening, Hillary Clinton called for Northam to resign, saying, quote, 
This has gone on too long. There is nothing to debate. He must resign, she wrote on Twitter. Northam, in one of the most bizarre moments in an otherwise extraordinary press conference, widely recalled the dance contest where he dressed as Jackson, the legendary pop icon. I had the shoes, I had the glove, and I used just a little bit of shoe polish to put under my, uh, or on my uh, cheeks, he said. And the reason I used very little bit is because, I don't know if anybody ever tried that, but you cannot get shoe polish off. He added, I look back now and regret that I did not understand the harmful legacy of an action like that. Northam told reporters that while he took responsibility for the photo shown in a yearbook, he saw it for the first time when he saw it yesterday. He said he did not purchase the yearbook and was not aware of the photo in question. Asked about whether he had ever worn a KKK uniform as seen in the photo, he answered, I am not the person in that uniform and I am not the person to the right. Actually, it was the person to the left. Northam's press conference represents a significant backtrack from what the governor said just a day earlier when he apologized for the photo and said that he was in it. Earlier today, a website published a photograph of me from 1984 medical school yearbook in a costume that is clearly racist and offensive, he said Friday. <laughs> you want to read the rest of the article. It's actually entertaining. This guy needs to know when to quit. He's done. Put a fork in him. He needs to resign. He has no choice. You might want to repost this in your social media accounts. You might want to pass it along to your like-minded friends. You might want to send a copy to Ralph. It's time to go, Ralph. That's sort of what I think. Thanks for listening. And let me know what you think.